Shalom Aleichem. Welcome to the Breast of Parsha Shia. This week is Parsha's Kadoshim. Kadoshim is a very interesting Parsha. The beginning, Hashem tells Moshe, speak to all of the Jews, all of them. Why? Because there are many, many laws that are inserted in this Parsha. It's only 64 sentences. But there are many, many laws that are inserted into this parsha. One of them is verse 14. Do not curse a deaf person. And before a blind person, don't put a stumbling block. Right? As I'll say, what does it mean, stumbling blocks? What's all that about? Rashi explains on the spot, do not give somebody advice that will cause him harm. Simple. Do not cause anybody any harm. Don't, don't be a nice guy and give them advice that won't work. Rav Nossin says that advice is the most important thing that any and every person needs during their life. We all need advice. We all need good advice. That's what Rav Nossin says. And if you're not going to have good advice, don't give it. Right? People come and they speak about different things and they ask about different things. Go to people who are able to give advice. Mishnah in Pirkei Ova says, Ben Chamishim Le'etza. person is 50 years old, he can give advice. What's the Mishnah teaching us? As the commentaries explain, by the time the person is 50, They've been through most of the things that people go through in life. Whether it's our own desires, the hot blood, we get angry, we have arrogance, we feel we can take over the world. Whether it's business matters, whether it's marriage counseling, and a lot of other things. By 50, we've probably had children and raised them we have an idea of what it means to help children grow up and become decent citizens in the world and whatnot. You got to have good advice for that. Mishnah says 50 years old, right? Not these young whippersnappers who go ahead and just offer whatever it is that they can offer. Oh, some people are very smart at a young age. It does happen does happen. We're not going to deny that. But the uh, fact remains that most people aren't qualified to give advice. Right? Maybe it's a small familial thing. Okay. All right. It's something in the family, something you're aware of person's circumstances and whatnot. Okay. You could help out that way. But to give advice, Clear advice? Rav Nosson says it's the advice of the tzaddikim, the righteous people. Why are they righteous? Because they had good advice, they followed it, and they overcame the terrible situations. There are many people who have, like presidents, who don't have a clue to what they're doing. But they have advisors and they also don't have a clue what they're doing. That's not good advice. Good advice is following righteous people, those who have kept us on the straight and narrow. Take a look at today. The year is 2024. Look at all the uprisings on campus. Uh, I, I thought that a college is to teach and advise a person how to go forward in life. That's what I thought. 
that's what I was given to understand when I was a kid. College is good for you. University is good for you. Because you'll learn how to do things. That's not what's happening today. There's some terrible advice going on there. There's also terrible advice of those who are trying to figure out what to do. What do you mean? These people are trespassers. These people are criminals. They take over a college building. They smash the windows. They break things. That's criminal activity. Where's the advisors that tell them how to stop it? Doesn't exist. Because they're not righteous people. Torah tells us, don't put a stumbling block in front of people who are blind to what the outcome will be. And that's what's happening today. There's a lot of problems in Israel, in Gaza, in the United States, United Kingdom, and all over the world. Where's the good advice, right? All we have to do is follow the righteous. What would a righteous person do? Would he take over somebody else's building? And would he smash their windows? No. So advice is something that's very important. Pasha this week, it has maybe a hundred laws in it. A hundred laws, maybe more, in 64 verses. Right? With all that, the most poignant advice is get good advice. Take good advice, study from the righteous, study what's right, study what's wrong, do what's right, and don't do what's wrong. And with that, God willing, we'll be able to have a good life, a calm life, a considerate life. We'll be able to build, not destroy. We'll be able to build and not destroy. Amen. Good evening. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this year. And if you uh, uh, like to share, please uh, pass it on to others. And let them all get interested in the rest of Rabbi Nachman's teachings. We look forward to hearing from a lot more of you. All the best. Bye.